<laughs> hey guys, so for today's video, <laughs> did you like that wave? <laughs> so nice. So nice. So today we are going to be talking all about contouring. Frankie hates the bright lights. Let me do a kiss. I have on gloss. Look at his little face. You're gonna ruin my makeup. Ah, don't give me the sunglass marks on my nose. My hair on camera. <laughs> my brain is not working today at all. I was so tiny, I had so much hair. Memories. This was 15 pounds ago. Look at my little face. My face is tiny. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I style my hair. I get a lot of questions about my hair and honestly, I'm just not, I'm not good at it. I'm not good at hair. Hair confuses me, hair stresses me out. It's not my thing. Makeup and fashion, all about that. But usually this is how I do. This is how we do. Because once I do my makeup and my outfit, I'm like, can I be done? This is a full-time job. It's a process. I don't want to do my hair. I want to leave. I want to go live my life. Like, I don't want to stay in the bathroom for 30 minutes and style my hair. It's going to end up looking like crap anyways because my hair is just so flat naturally. It's insane. And I live in Florida, and most people in Florida, like, when they have humidity around them, like, their hair reacts and gets bigger. Not mine. My hair gets flatter. It's like a curse. I want to move to California just so that I can get some volume. Because when I'm in California, I feel like I'm just like, yes, yes, hair, hair. Like, my hair can finally be, like big and voluminous and not get weighed down by the humid humidity. So to get my hair to literally have any sort of texture or volume, I literally put six products in my hair when it's damp and it is the only thing that I have found that actually gives me body. It actually gives me texture and actually makes my hair workable so I can curl it and I can style it and I can get some volume in it because mm, you don't even want to know. This is what my hair looks like after taking my hair out of a scrunchie. I washed it about close to 48 hours ago and I did not style it when I got done washing it and I didn't style it yesterday because I've just been working from home for the past two days. So it's literally been in a scrunchie for almost 48 hours and this is what it looks like. My hair color is the most asked question on my channel of all time. So I just started going to this new girl who's absolutely amazing. She's in North Tampa. She's in the Tampa Bay area. If you guys are looking for someone, I will link her Instagram down below. She's incredible. And she did the biolage technique on my hair. I don't really know what any of these terms mean, you guys. So if there's any hairdressers out there watching, I know. I'm probably making a fool out of myself, but at least I'm honest about it. I do not know what I'm talking about when it comes to hair. Um, but she did the biolage technique. So the bottom of my hair, like right here, the tips, it's much more of like a fiery red. And then up here, it's much more of like a darker ombre that kind of like fades and ombres down, which I love. Especially when it's styled and it's curled. It's not so great now, but when it's styled and it's curled, I love the way the ends have like that fiery, PC look and then the top is much darker and auburn. So for those of you who are trying to achieve a hair color similar to this, which I'm always getting questions about what my formula is, I don't know what my formula is, especially now that I'm going to someone new. I can try to find that out next time I go and post it on Snapchat for you guys. Um, but I always, always ask for a warm, rich, dark, deep, auburn shade with only coppers and reds and no purple or violets because I want it to have like that Mm, like I want it to be warm and I want it to be deep and I want it to look yummy and like fudgy almost But I don't want it to be Purple whatsoever or violet whatsoever, which it still happens even though no one's ever put violet in my hair Sometimes my hair will still pull violet and I'm like what is going on with my hair? I just want it to be I want it to be like Mac copper ring That's what I want in my hair as for the cut of my hair. It is a very PC which was accidental I did not know that it was gonna be this PC. Um, I'm kind of in a weird, awkward moment with my hair. Well, actually, I feel like I say that my whole life. Um, I'm kind of waiting for some pieces to grow out to really have the cut that I'm really, truly wanting. In the front, it is a little bit longer than the back, and I want it to be even more drastic, but I'm waiting for everything to grow like a couple more months. But I definitely want it shorter in the back, longer in the front. And you can see there is definitely an angle right there. It's just not dr as drastic as I want it to be. And I have tons of PC layers circle my entire head and at first when I got these I absolutely hated them but now I've definitely gotten more accustomed and more friendly with my layers and I feel like they kind of work for me especially since I only ever wear my hair curly and wavy now I don't really ever wear my hair straight anymore because I just 
I don't know, I feel like I look so political. Okay, so now for actually styling my hair. This is the one that I use every single day. I used to use the Bellamy 6-in-1, which is six different wands that you can just continuously clip on and take off, which is awesome. I just feel like I use this one more because it works so much faster. Like, I only have to hold my hair around this for just a couple of seconds and it's done. And that's why I love it so much is because it's so quick. And I'm all about things being quick. Mmm. That's what she said. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just clip up a portion of my hair. Where's my scrunchie? <laughs> yes, I've literally been wearing scrunchies recently because like you can just buy them on Amazon because I've noticed that when I'm around my house and if I put my hair up in a ponytail and I use just like a regular hair twisty, it puts a bend in my hair. And then when I take my hair down, it's got like that line on your head. But the scrunchie does not do that. It doesn't put a bend in your hair whatsoever, which is why I've been using it. So all I'm going to do is grab sections of hair. I'm going to grab a pretty generous amount because I don't want my hair to be curly. I want it to be more wavy and I'm going to curl everything away from my face. When my hair was longer, I would curl towards my face, away from my face, towards my face, away from my face, like every other piece just to make it look super duper messy. Now that I have shorter hair, I feel like it just looks best when everything is going away from my face. So each time I move up a row, I go up about an inch and a half and part my hair off. And then again, like I'll grab a section like this big right here. And then when I curl it, I don't leave my wand on it for too long. Otherwise, it will be really curly. I don't want this look to be curly, so I just leave it on for a couple of seconds. And then I'll kind of give it like a little tug on the end just so that it kind of lays like that. Cause you can see it's not like an intense curl. If I leave this wand on for like a full 10 seconds, like it'll be like up here, it'll be like curly Sue. And I feel like it makes me look very like, my hair look like little girl cutesy and I want it to look more like messy and beachy and more sexy. <laughs> Here's that word. So the most frequently asked question I get about my hair is how I keep the red from fading. I can't keep the red from fading. It's inevitable, it's gonna fade no matter what. The number one thing is that I do not wet it very often. And when I say wet, I don't just mean shampoo or condition. Like I don't get it wet. Like I don't go swimming. I don't go jump into a pool and get my hair wet. I did that when I was, I was in LA, I jumped into the pool and that was a big mistake. Even though it was a saltwater pool, my hair faded so bad, it looked like Kool-Aid when I got out. I was like, mm, okay. I use shampoo and conditioner made specifically for red hair. It's by the brand Daveness. I will link it down below for any other readies out there. I wash it twice a week. Um, I don't have naturally really oily hair, so it's not a problem for me. I use dry shampoo a lot. There is a product by Bumble and Bumble that I'm obsessed with. It's called Pret a Powder. I will link all of my favorite hair products down below for you guys. To me, it is definitely all about the shampoo and how often I wet my hair. Like if I wash my hair like three times in a week, I'll definitely see the difference. My hair will fade each time. And yes, every single time I take a shower, it looks like someone is being killed. It's red water every single time. All of my towels are red. My pillowcase has red stains on it. Everything is red. It's one of the things I miss about being blonde. <laughs> Nothing stained. So now that I have that side done, I'll just kind of pull it apart, kind of piece it up so that those hot curls don't settle and stay too curly. Moving on up. Another question that I get asked all the time is how often I get my hair done. And I get my hair done every four weeks. And that is not because of the fading. That is because of my roots. My roots grow out and look so terrible with this hair color because I have very ashy, mousy brown hair. It looks like poop, honestly. It's just not a good color at all. It's not flattering. And against this red color, it just looks terrible it's like this almost brownish gray looking color against it and it's bad like when i was blonde i did not have to get my roots done that often well i couldn't afford to get my roots done that often when i was blonde but um i i didn't have to get them done that often because the brown didn't look that bad growing out but on my red hair the roots look terrible another question that i get asked is if my hair is extremely damaged from all the color and surprisingly it is not 
I always say it's damaged. I'm always like, my hair is so damaged. My hair is so fried. But anytime I go to a hairdresser, they always feel my hair and they're like, no, your hair is in great condition. It's super strong. It's not breaking. And I'm like, what? Um, so I mean, according to hairdressers, my hair is not damaged. I feel like it is just because my hair is so dry. Um, but I don't do a lot of intense masks on my hair because when I do that, oh girl, my hair has no life for like a week and a half. Another thing that I have noticed that I do when I curl is I keep my hair flat on the barrel. So I put it like this and then I keep, see how all the hair on my barrel is flat? I try to do that as much as possible because if you kind of twist your hair around on the barrel and kind of like, you know what I'm saying, like get it all twisted up, then it won't have like this nice kind of look. It'll start to look kind of like kinky and kind of, it'll definitely give you a way messier look, but I'm not going for that look. So I keep my hair flat on the barrel as I'm curling. And when I curl, I always curl all the way through the ends. Like you can see, I'm not leaving the ends out. I curl the entire thing. Cause I used to leave the ends out and curl it like this. But when I would do that, all it would do is make the ends of my hair flip up and look even more PC. And when I look back at old pictures and videos of my hair sad like that, I'm like, ugh, no, I can't stand it now. So it's just kind of like a personal preference if you want your ends to kind of stick out more. Um, but with this haircut, I don't want them to stick out. I want them to kind of blend in. Okay, so now when it comes to my front bang, I don't curl it all the way to the root. I don't want to take it all the way up to my scalp because it'll just give me like such a va va voom bang and I want it to kind of just like hang down with the rest of the group. Yeah, you just, you just chill there. You chill with your homies. Oh, what is that doing? Heck no, tech no. Okay, that's better. <laughs> so now I'm going to go through everything with my hands and just pull and separate because I don't want any of the curls clinging onto each other. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. I am obsessed with this stuff. And I'm gonna spray it throughout all my hair. I'm gonna spray it on the roots, on the ends, in the middle, everywhere. And just rough it up. All right, I'm gonna grab a comb. Any comb, like wide tooth comb will do. And I'm going to grab it and just kind of separate everything. Cause again, I don't want my hair clinging onto each other, like clinging onto the other curls because that's what will make it look um, not as voluminous and not as full because it'll be like clinging on and just kind of like hanging together. So I'm going to just go through and kind of separate everything. So as you can see, the outcome isn't actually curly. It's just very messy and PC and just texturized, but it doesn't actually have like a curly Sue vibe. I'll show you the back of what it looks like. You can see it's just really just kind of playful. And the great thing about this hairstyle is that throughout the day, like if the wind blows and my hair goes flying over, like it doesn't bother me. Like it can get as messy as I want it to. And like, that's kind of the point is just for it to be kind of like laid back and messy and tousled and PC. So that's it, you guys. I hope that you enjoy this video for all of you who requested it. It was so easy to do. Now you know how easy it is to achieve this hairstyle. Honestly, it takes me maybe, oh my God, absolute tops would be 20 minutes from start to end of this entire hairstyle. More like 12 to 15 minutes to do this entire process because I've just got it down so quick of how to do it. It's funny, it's such a short amount of time, but yet like I never want to do it. I'm like, I don't feel like growing my hair. I'm just like so lazy when it comes to my hair, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching this video. All the products I mentioned and all the products that I use when my hair is wet, when my hair is dry, before and after, shampoo, conditioner, dry shampoo, the curling wand, I will put everything in the description box down below for you guys with links where you can find everything if you are interested. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.